Welcome to the Grid Labs Tech Big Series. Uh, today we're going to be going through and how to schedule and unschedule a CCIE voice rack rental session. Uh, the first thing we're going to need to do is log into your members account at internetworkexpert.com. Go ahead and put in your login details here. And it just takes a few seconds to sign in. And once we're signed in, we will see the dashboard. Uh, the tab we're interested in here is the Rack Rentals tab. So we'll go ahead and click that. And as you see, we have 200 tokens available. And uh, if we don't have any tokens, we can go down here to buy more tokens. So the first thing we're going to do is launch the CCI Voice Rack Rentals Scheduler. And as you see, we have the number of tokens in our account. I'm on the top left here. So I have 200 tokens. I've spent zero and I have two in the remaining. Uh, the, account, the thing the calendar also shows you is on each day the, the four sessions that we have S1, S2, S3, and S4 and if you hover your mouse over a certain session you'll see the starting time. Uh, for example S3 starts at 3 p.m. Pacific time. And to the right of that it shows the number of tokens for, for that session. And so let's go ahead and uh, book out two sessions for May 31st, S1 and S2. So if we click that, we can see up here in the top left that it shows that we have spent 30 tokens on these two sessions and we have 170 tokens remaining. So we'll go ahead and click schedule and we get a confirmation showing that we have indeed scheduled two rack rentals for May 31st. If we close this, and we can now go back to our rack rentals page here and we can see the rack rental, the number of tokens has been updated to 170 tokens. If we scroll down, we can see our access information for the two rack rentals we have just scheduled. So we're on voice rack 8, and our password is listed here. So if we click the link next to there, we can see detailed uh, access information for the rack. And we just scroll down through here, and this will be useful for actually connecting to the rack. Now, if we move on, and and we can't, on um, something comes up before May 31st, and we are unable to use the rack, then we can go ahead and unschedule this. 72 hours prior and uh, at no cost. So we can go ahead and do that and we can reschedule a rack by clicking here. And we've seen our upcoming sessions um, for May 31st. And we'll click both these and we can see the refund is 30 tokens. And after a refund, we have 200 tokens available. So we'll go ahead and click reschedule. And it should take us back to the dashboard here. And then we can click rack rentals again and get a confirmation that two sessions were successfully refunded for May 31st. And that's it for scheduling and unscheduling a CCIE voice rack room.